Wow, wow, wow. A huge testimony, huge testimony, very huge one. Um, it has happened again. You know, when everything fell, Jesus never fails. I have seen him in many ways. He has done miraculous things around me. He has done on awesome wonders around my friends and uh, partners. Um, I've heard about testimonies over and over again. You know, many people usually ask these questions to the Christian. Um, he said to us, are you really sure that miracle really happens? Are you really sure that there is Jesus Christ? Are you really sure that there is heaven and earth? Oh yeah, I can answer you that question without blinking my eyes. The answer is yes. Miracle still happens today. Um, Jesus is alive, very much alive. And he is living inside us through the Holy Spirit which he gave to us freely. And anyone who doesn't want, of course, he doesn't force himself into. But if you want, by the speaking of the word, the Holy Spirit will dwell with you. Just only invite him, come and partner with you, come and be with you. And that's it. Yeah, I just only want to share something that he has done yesterday. Yesterday, I wanted to do that this program yesterday, but I said, Oh no, I didn't feel really well because I'm I have a little bit cough here. Yeah? Um, I said, Let me wait until today. But the testimony is so big that I don't even know how to wait again, so I decided to um take my time today to share the, the, the testimony with you. But before I go into that huge testimony, I expect everyone please to just click on the button share and share. And if you are here, please just let me know that you are here. Say something let me know you are here um just say hello i'm so so and so personal whatever oh just say hi anything you want to do let me just share the video and then i will tell you what god just did it's massive children of god should learn to be patient so i encourage you to be patient this morning you're gonna hear what god have done and um it's, it's so amazing Akuchi South Africa have already shared the video. God bless you so much. Uh, God bless you immensely for sharing. Um, there's love in sharing. So just feel free. Just be a, be a good person, please. Yeah, click the button and share the video. Invite every one of you so I can share the testimony with you, okay? I am so amazed. I am so happy. So I'm filled with joy because I never expect this. Don Simon Ago, uh, greetings, my brother watching from Morocco, Rabat. God bless you, my brother from Rabat, Morocco. Um, Jewel Shine, God bless you. Everyone that are here, please, I need to know that you're here. Just say something. I say something. Let's share this testimony together. You know, I've not been online for a very long time. It's not because I don't want to be online. It's just that the work of God constrains me. You know, there are so many things to do in the field. So it limits my time with social media. Um, I just only come to my YouTube and share the video and then off again. Uh, but um, God has been leading in my heart to start a, a media house. You know, where I'll be having time to discuss with you all, tell you what's going on in the prison, in the social, all the social devices going on on we have to discuss them one after the other even marital issues of uh, what people are like going through in their marital life and all that we'll be having time now to have a conversation concerning that and then discipleship making as well discipleship making movement is so important because if we win the souls and we don't disciple them they will be a waste away and if you win them and then they remain that's when there is a reward because the bible said in john 15 16 you've not chosen me I chose you and ordain you to go and bear fruit that your fruit will remain so you see that that your fruit may abide if the fruit if the life that we are saving are not being discipled it become a wasted effort and we're not going to get a huge reward for that so i'm expecting every one of you to join our uh, zoom class very soon uh, as soon as i'm recovering because i, I have cold yeah i have a little bit uh, malaria you know everything here in nigeria I call it malaria so i mean i've eaten some antibiotics and I've gotten my strength back and then I'm just only waiting for the cough the cough to clear off I'm taking some cough syrup as well once I'm 100% fit again and I will be on we start 
uh, discipleship making on Zoom class. We'll be having some hundreds of people invited. Those that have the time, they watch it. If not, then I will post it later on Facebook and they'll watch later when they come out from work. So I'm expecting every one of us to put hand together now and build up a very strong team that will be, you know, where we, what we'll be doing in that discipleship class is more of like DBS. It's going to be like a discovery Bible study. You know, we pick up some scriptures and we discuss it, take up some some social problems that people are having discuss it find solution to it just like uh, you know this madness going on in america now that they're talking about a uh, uh, sister marrying to brother and all those things we discuss how to make our children understand that it's a wrong thing because if they are seeing those things and thinking it's right then we're gonna be in a very huge problem tomorrow our daughters might get up tomorrow telling you that it's in love with the brother or maybe in love with the cousin or niece or your or they were nephew or whatever you know we don't want to hear those things around us as christians they are abominable acts we cannot accept them so we have to start teaching and talking about the principles that can shield us from those errors and the only way we can do that is to make sure we put up data and start gathering so once i recover fully we begin to do all these things together yeah okay i'm going to do some uh, invitations if you give me some time I will invite some friends and I will tell you what God did. It's huge. I know some of you with itching ear are wondering what is it that God have done for this man. No, trust me, this one is a huge testimony. Oh, I don't even know how to explain it. I don't know how to explain it. It's a huge testimony. I just only expect you to um to kindly join us to hear it. I'm trying to share the videos now the, uh, to some of my friends and then um, we kick off just a few minutes. You can also invite your friends, please. Feel free to invite your friends. It's a huge testimony, very huge one. Anything God cannot do will never exist and does not exist. This one, I, this one I can assure you that is God's doing. God has done this and it's marvelous in our sight. And we have to return glory to him for doing this, for making it possible for us to have this wonderful testimony today. Um, okay. Let me try to get some of my. Uh, just get some of my friends involved, and then we go on and share the testimony. Kindly share if you are here. Please share. Yeah, share please. Ben humble. God bless you. Chimwe Shiva Abu Abajwe. God bless you, Skiva. Uh, Ching Weskiva, God bless you so much here yeah, for coming. Uh, sorry for me murdering your name, pronouncing it wrongly. Eh? So, um, let me just. Glorious God, invisible King, excellent God, we bow before your throne. Glorious God, beautiful King, excellent God, we bow before your throne. Bow before your throne, worship at your feet, bow before your throne, you are the glorious God, bow before your throne, worship at your feet, we bow before your throne. The glorious God, your name is 
place I'm found, you are Omega, O Ageless, I call you Changeless, Almighty, Jehovah, Glorious God. We bow before yes. Um, okay. Um, now let me just um, take you down the testimony so you see that God is still doing miracle and God is still answering prayers. I know so many people always say that um, uh, do God still really answer prayer? Yes, He does, and I'm gonna prove it to you now just a few more minutes i'm sharing this thing out now i'm done soon and we will be able to testify together and we will rejoice together you know i believe so much in the miracle of god and i believe so much in his testimony that is why you see me so smiling this afternoon this sunny afternoon in lagos nigeria Let's get it done. A few more minutes, I'll be done in invitation with my invitation, and then um, your name is Alpha. You are Omega, I call you Ageless, and we call you Changeless, Almighty Jehovah, Glorious God, we bow before your throne. Your name is Alpha Omega O Ageless I call you Changeless Almighty Jehovah Glorious God We bow before your throne your name is Alpha, you are Omega, O oh, Ageless, I call you Changeless, Almighty Father, Almighty Jehovah, Jehovah, Daddy, Glorious God. We bow before your throne. Okay, I have um, done my own part. I've shared it with some few people. So now I want you to hear this. You know, there is an old man. You remember the man that was suffering? He has suffered for 10 good years in a Nigerian prison. This man is 80 something years old now. He has been in prison while he was 70 something now. So he has been in prison for 10 good years. He was in Onitra prison. They moved him to Newe prison. And this man has been going a lot. I've been trying my best. We've prayed, done everything we could. I bought a lawyer, got a lawyer for him. And we've been spending money so that the lawyer can be able to do the work and the lawyer has been trying but the pandemic couldn't let this man go home because every time they put a court date uh, there will be story every time there's a court date there will be story no I think no I don't I don't believe in failure and I don't stop I don't stop fighting I'm not a weakling I'm a kind of person who believe that we must put up a push we have to fight to be able to get results because the world we are living in there's someone who is in charge of the world his name is Satan if you are not in that camp of Satan you 
you won't be able to get anything easy and we are in the camp of the one who owns the whole universe who owns everything our father in heaven and he gave the key of life and death to us through his servant his son jesus christ who came and died for our for every one of us that key he gave to us is not automatic that you just enter anywhere with that key you need to bind every strong man that is in charge of whatever whatever whichever territory that you want to enter you bind the strong man first before you enter the warehouse to go and possess whatever or to go and occupy anything you want to occupy that makes me to believe that the world is owned by the, the the master of the world is satan this 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 brutal animal called satan and the, the devil himself you know he's in charge so he caged this old man in the prison for 10 good years and this man have started coughing out blood so i've been also spending money in hospital buying tobacco medicine and all kind of thing that we could be able to do to get this man on on his feet and not to die inside the prison like we lost mama in omaha prison and finally I was in there with last time and I prayed with him and I said to him sir you are going home I gave him some money for food as well and there's a welfare officer there very wonderful woman that has been taking care of that woman so every time she called me that the man is in need I send money through this woman and she pull out the money to get what he needs and medis medically or food or all, all those things and we have been doing this now it came to a point that yesterday, listen to this, God is so faithful, he's so faithful. Yesterday, I sent them some money, that was, uh, I think it was like 20,000 naira or so, it was 20,000 naira I sent down to Newe prison uh, to give them um, Baba some money and then pay some medical bills and so on. And uh, the woman said to me, oh, man of God, wait till there's something that I'm seeing here that I don't even know if it's true or not. And then um, <clears throat> I say, there's nothing that is not true. I know that God is setting him free. That's all I just said to the woman. And she started laughing. He said that they brought letter from the court, said that they should let the man go immediately, you know, without any controversy. And uh, my heart was like, oh God, so you want to put my enemies to shame? Just go ahead and do it, Lord. Because many people are saying that, oh, evangelist, you have prayed for this man. Why didn't he release? You have done that. I say, listen, there is what is called appointed time. When appointed time come, everything will be made manifest. But you can't jump ahead of that time. The reason why I went to prison was because I didn't want to wait for my appointed time to exploit. I just wanted to make fast money, quick money. I jumped into trouble. That's how I ended up in prison. Do you understand that? If I would have waited for an appointed time, I wouldn't waste my eight years inside the prison. What is called appointed time is the date that God is set for your announcement. That is what is called an appointed time. And when that time comes, Couple with the grace that endowed in you to push out that baby within you. Because the person who is waiting for appointed time is someone who is pregnant. When that time comes, the grace that is endowed in you will help you to push out the baby without struggle. But what I'm seeing these days, oh, Tina Bess, God bless you so much. This is one of the women that always asking me about the old mom, old papa in our Navy prison. Yes, uh, Antonia, Ubak, all of you, I'm so glad that you are here to hear this testimony the old man is released he was released yesterday he's full of joy so i am going to bring him online very soon he's taking medications now he's with the wife in anambra state where he is uh very soon i'm gonna pay his transport to bring him to lagos or i will go down to the east and we will come up live and she will he will tell you his full testimony what he has gone through for 10 years because the son fought with somebody and the person died and the son ran away and this man have to suffer 10 years finally being released without government saying sorry to him nobody saying anything to him but you no know, jesus christ is a consoler his name is restorer he knows how to restore so i'm not expecting human being to restore that man i'm expecting jesus christ to do exactly what he knows how to do best which is what he did in my own life he restored me even when there was no hope when all hope was lost, I came out from prison without anybody around me. No one could help me. My seven best friends were all killed. They are all dead in a drug war. And now I'm just there out alone without anyone to help me. But Jesus Christ said to me, walk with me. I will hold your hands, cross through the river, through the fire. They will not overwhelm you. They will not consume you. So I went through all those processes. And today, here I am today. I'm no longer alone. I'm a married person. I have a 
a wife. I have thousands of children in the prison. Did you hear that? Should I repeat that? I say thousands of children I have in the prison, both men and women and even mothers and daughters. Many of my children are inside the prison. I have my physical, my biological children as well. They are there for me. And I have you, my partner. I have you, my friend, who has worked and labored and used your money to sponsor the work in my hand. So what more do I need from God? I am healthy. I'm not a dead person now. I'm spiritually dead, but physically I am here serving the Lord. I just want you to know this, that God loves each and every one of us immeasurably. And I don't know how to be able to say that you might be able to understand what my language. I am saying this without any missing word. I'm not saying it without trying to imagine if it's true or not. I'm telling you that God is alive and he's watching. And every testimony that you have been waiting for, that is an appointed time for that testimony. This is exactly the testimony of this papa today. You know, I will bring him on live. He's the old man you see me with interviewing him and dancing with him in the prison several times, having issue with him in the prison, discussing matters with him in the prison, in the way prison. That old man has been there for 10 years. Yesterday, he was finally released. All the money I've been spending on the lawyer, it has paid off. All the prayers that we have been praying, it has paid off. And all the money we spend on medical or to be able to keep that man alive, he has paid off. I'm so glad today he's in and I'm brown are taking medication very soon he will be healthy he will be strong on his feet and I will pay transport to bring him to Lagos once he comes to Lagos you and I will be live to discuss this matter because I'll make a line open listen to this here yeah? please put your eyes on our page here yeah? it's so important that we start uniting now there are some few things that we're gonna start doing God has led me to start a discipleship class and that discipleship class you know you know I'm not educated I'm not uh, a grad I'm a person. I am going to start bringing the principle of heaven clearly to everyone and how we are going to work together to make heaven. I'm not going to speak too much grammar. It's going to be about Bible discovery. You know, we're going to be like a B BDS, you know, Bible discovery service. We're going to, every one of us will be discussing the Bible together. We do it on Zoom class and we will make it public on Facebook. Anybody who wants to join us can join us, contribute their own and so on. So we are going to this time around focus in discipling. Discipling those that we have won. If we win a soul and we don't decide them is a travesty of justice we have messed it up we have misbehaved but when we win them and disciple them that's when the fruit will abide and then anything we ask our father according to that john 15 16 anything we ask our father he will give to us because you know we are here to do what to be fruitful to multiply replenish subdue this earth and have dominion over it if we cannot multiply we cannot be able to have dominion multiplication brings dominion because if we are many you can fight more he says uh, one person can chase a thousand and ten two we chase ten thousand can you imagine when we are five or six people how many billions of demons that we can chase they've not even created enough demon that can challenge us if we are in unity you know that tower of Babel was stopped building because their unity was scattered god saw that when they were united that nothing is impossible for them to do they're about to build the tower to the heaven and god scattered their languages so the the only thing that make you not to achieve your goal is when you are scattered and i'm asking you to join me in this our next project now we're going to start having zoom class i'm going to give you the date i will send the flyers away everybody will see the date so we start gathering together and discuss jesus christ look at what is happening everywhere now you see there's a war 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 fighting 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 and not just that, a brother marrying to biological sister is an abomination. A mother marrying to a son, father marrying to a daughter. All this is already passed the law in South Africa, in Germany, in USA. People are misbehaving, living anyhow. And if we don't tell them the truth, they will perish. And we also will not make heaven because we have not gone out there to fight. We have to start discussing. In this our discussion, and we sharing the videos as well, it will help so many people to grow in the spirit.
I wasn't just suddenly become who I am today. I am a servant of God and I'm so proud to call myself a man of God. And without repentance, without shame, without disgrace, I say, yes, I'm a servant of God. And I'm not afraid to die in my mission. I'm not afraid to die in what they called me. All I know is that I'm very, very ashamed of the way Christianity is running in the world today. And if you and I can only, if you and I can only put our hands together, just put our hands together say in unity we are going to move this world ahead you know there is a program that our spiritual father draw this time of reverend david Obwelly. we are targeting 100 million souls before the decades runs out and i say yes to that program i am going to be fully part of that program we're going to stay we're going to start having market evangelism we're going to start having a, you know on this street of it eh, all this area in lagos island here we're going to start going to villages and do crusades how was my strategy i will take on my videos i'll go with projector and i'll project these videos i'll project many things to the people in the village then and they will see what is going on in the prison how our boys are wasting away our girls are wasting away in the prison their parents being locked up in prison because of what their children did when i show them all the videos then i'll tell them my own crime record i'll tell them what i did as a criminal and how the price i paid as a criminal by the time i finish with my testimony i'll bring them into the the understanding of the Holy Bible. Take them out of what they know. Get them to what they ought to know. And that is Jesus Christ being the Savior of the world. And that Jesus Christ being the leader, the one who redeemed us, who paid a price for us. And make them to understand that every debt that they are owing is already paid. Don't bother about the debt anymore. All you need to do is just say, sorry in the I surrender all oh, Jesus Christ. I am no longer for myself anymore. I live for you. And I want to know you. Just say that you want to know him and everything will be okay. You don't need to struggle to be a born again born again is a very simple structure a structure of denouncing your old ways renouncing your old ways removing yourself from court courtism removing yourself from the earthly things and all these mundanities and start thinking the way of god how to show love and kindness to people that is born this is so simple i wish i can make it simpler than this okay let me put it this way born again is just you saying i am tired of the world i want to go to christ way just leave for Jesus that's it that's it and that's all my heart is clinging for that's all I'm longing for that's what my soul is panting for I just need to be one of those that will touch lives I want to be those that will change lives I want to be people that will go out there say that there's nothing that matters to me I don't care about how much you have as an offer to me I'm not going to relent in serving him I don't care about what you are offering me I'm not gonna divert from the path I've followed that I'm hundred percent sure that this path is the part of the godly and he shine brighter and brighter unto a perfect day the bible promises that the beautiful beautiful are the are feet of those that are preaching gospel i want to remain in that beautiful platform my feet will remain beautiful when you start making this confession all trances wake up in the morning say god that i may know you today when you say god that i may know you that you are not asking him of that god that i may have a new car today god that i may have a new house today just you wake up in the morning say lord that i may know you that i just only to know you i want to behold your beauty i want to see your face stop asking about his act stop asking about his manner bread water drink just ask for his face when he sees the genuine act you remember what happened with solomon solomon what what do you want me to do for you solomon was just telling god that all i want from you is that you may show me how to lead these people give me the wisdom the understanding the knowledge to be able to lead these people are right that's all what that's all Moses, solomon was asking for and solomon got the wisdom in the best level of it and he also got the money in the best level of it he got everything he did not ask that's bring me to a place that matthew say in 6 33 he says seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness he said that every other thing shall be added unto you once you are seeking the right thing you are asking the right thing every other thing will come to you even what people think is the wrong thing they will come to you too much money will come that your private jet will come if it's needed every 
everything you are asking for will come. If being a Kubana is your choice, you will get double Kubana in your house. I don't care what you are looking for. If you just only follow the will of God, the principle of God, and abide in his rules, and you follow that very, very path he has drawn for us, everything that your heart desire, you will receive them. I am a living testimony of what I'm saying. This old man that got released yesterday is such a very huge testimony to me because so many Muslims have mocked me. Let me tell you this. I know you might not to not understand. Many have texted me, hey, man of God, we saw you, uh, pastor, we saw you praying for this old man that he will come out. In one year have gone, or two years have gone, we have not seen him out. I said to him, no, I'm waiting for the appointed time. And I saw, I was grieved inside me because I know that my God is not deaf. I know my God answer prayer. Why would Ishmael mock me? I said, no, my testimony will be huge when the time comes. Because testimony is something that is being cooked. It doesn't just suddenly come out. It come out, it become an error. It will be cooked for some time and when it comes out, it become a testimony. When you your husband sleep with you and he become pregnant, did you give birth immediately the same day? No. You cannot give birth the same day the sperm goes into your womb. It doesn't work like that. When the sperm comes in, there will be a time of gestation. There will be incubation. There will be things. You have to start working on those things. You have to start waiting patiently. You have to start waiting eagerly. Eagerly for the manifestation of the testimony money and when the appointed time comes uh, mm, you push out that baby when you push out the baby there will be this joy in the face of the husband there will be joy in the face of the woman even when the woman was uh, pushing that baby we say I don't want to have baby anymore once that baby comes out they hear the cry of the baby and he breasted the baby you see the woman thinking of how to have the next child I'm telling you my brother's testimony is something like that giving birth you need to work it out on your own sit down and say God I am waiting for my testimony I am waiting for my time to come don't be in a hurry about this if you are too much in a hurry you won't get anything worthy you won't everything worth waiting for what waiting for and when God start manifesting that thing you are waiting for the testimony is usually huge it brings dumbfounding joy in the face of people so please wait for that tremendous period wait for that appointed time and you will rejoice again Papa the testimony today is that Papa is free the old man that spent 10 years in prison is free. Yes, nobody compensates him. I'm going to bring him online. We're all going to discuss and we will give, put smile on his face again. And I know I myself, personal evangelist Christian Chukuka, I will do everything humanly possible with my partners, my financial partners, to make sure that that papa got established and got discipled and he will become a soul winner. He will be a disciple in the hand of God and he will go out there and begin to fish men. He will become a fisher of men. That is what abounding grace for mission is for and that is what I believe in and I know that's what you believe in and if you do believe in what we have discussed and said here this moment I want you to click the button now and share this video don't watch it alone I'm about to say goodbye to you all and by the way feel free to wish my little daughter Miss Summer happy birthday today is her birthday she's eight years old here my stepdaughter here in Nigeria uh, she is um, turning eight she's eight years old today so we just went to Blanco here to pick up some few stuff buy cake and all that to celebrate her a little bit today this evening but I wanted to celebrate this old papa for that's why I came online to share my testimony to share the testimony of this Papa with you. Um, I don't know how many of you that are here. I can't be able to see everybody but I want you to know that I appreciate you for coming and I love each and every one of you for coming. Yes, I could see so many people are saying something here. Um, please, I'll go through it. I'll go through it certainly. Certainly, I'll go through them and then I will um, get back to you all. I want you to please rejoice with me. Rejoice with me. It's a huge testimony. Um, let me just see. Sorry for my hand is blocking the views. Let me see if I can get some of the testimonies to read out for you. Uh, Laura, many of them are saying happy birthday to you. Come and say birthday. Come up here. Um, I don't know if you can, uh, if you can put your face. Let them see you. Laura is saying happy birthday to you. Say happy. Say thank you. Thank you. And many people are sending happy birthday to you. See. A lot of them, Tina Best and so on, Chukwe Academy, all of them are saying happy birthday. So this is my daughter, she's gonna, um, she's turning eight years today. 
and uh, we're going home now to go and try to get something to eat. Uh, my wife travels, so she's on her way coming back from the eastern Nigeria. She's gonna join us this evening when we cut Laura's cake and all that thing, yeah? God bless each and every one of you. And thank you so much for coming. Let me just see if I can see some comments because maybe there might be some questions here. Oh, let me see if I can get some questions from people that need to answer. <coughs> Bless me, Lord. Okay. Oh. Nancy, said, Nancy Obi said, God bless you. Nothing is impossible with God setting our best. God bless you, sir. <coughs> bless me, Lord. Oh, God. We bless you and your family. Happy birthday, Laura. Obiamamuogu, God bless you so much. Ruas, Justin, and many more others. Um, I can be able to scroll further here because I just opened this. I can be able to scroll further to see those that are here. If you are here, please, can you show up? Tell me you are here. Let me say hi to you. Please just come up with your name. Let me say hi to you. Nancy said, Happy glorious birthday to you, sweetheart. And Miss Amma is waving at you all here, too. Yeah, I'm going to, like we said, I'm going to bring them out very soon. And then uh, please make sure you don't miss that live video. It's going to be very uh, robust. It's going to be outstanding uh, because the man will bring out all the details of what he went through in the prison, how that 10 years has been because of what the son did and uh, how his faith also is still standing sure because of the kind of messages we are giving them because of the support we are giving to them in the prison he will tell you so many things that you do not know about prison as well and this man made a covenant with me yesterday he said to me that his covenant is that he will follow me all over the world that he follow want to follow me to serve god so you see that we have to win soul and the um Nancy, God bless you, yeah? I hope you have my WhatsApp line. You can call me. You are welcome anytime. Um, so uh, when the time comes, the day we are going to have this program, I will certainly I will certainly put a flyer up and then I will share it to my friends on WhatsApp and every part of uh, social media um, so we can be able to uh, unite and discuss this. And I will put the line open and everyone can make a call, can call in and then say their mind and... Um, we see how we can help this man to establish him because the government has thrown him out of the prison now and nobody cares about the 10 years. If it's in America, you wasted somebody 10 years, you know that you're not paying less than $20 million to the person or, or, or at least $10 million to the person. But here, it's a lawless country where you do whatever you want and get away with it. Uh, this is a place where you can just pick up somebody and locked up in prison whenever you like. You go and open the person up again without saying sorry, without giving any compensation of your mistakes. You see, it's quite sad, but we discuss way forward and, we, and God is coming for a change in our nation. Something is going to happen and we will have a reason to say thank you, Jesus. Because without Christ, there will be crisis everywhere. Nigeria have run away from Jesus Christ. That's why we're having crisis everywhere. Um, and I believe that if we return back to him, he will return back to us. That's my 100% belief. So please look forward to the flyer. Once you see it, please share with everybody and be ready. We might take it on Zoom or we might take it on my Facebook class. Yeah, And we discuss about this matter and then the man will also answer questions direct from you all. God bless you all, okay? I really appreciate you all and I'm looking forward to see you all soon. But please do me a great favor. Click the button, share these videos to the groups where you are. Share these videos mm -hmm. too, so that our Facebook will come back to life again. Yeah. Thank you, Nancy Ovi, for sharing. Yeah. 
Mary, I'm a one of you. Please, every one of you that are here, kindly share this video so that we can we will come back to life again. You know, I've been running away from social media, but I want to come back now so we can be able to disciple those that are that are needing people to talk to. I have so many men of God, so many women of God calling me saying that their church is declining. Things are not going well again. What do they need to do? It's because they don't have the foundation. That's why the church is being destroyed. If you have any faulty foundation and you build a church upon that foundation it will collapse the bible said there is no foundation can any man lay except that which is laid which is jesus christ so in everything we are doing we must have a sound foundation and that foundation has to be the solid rock which is jesus christ once you build upon that rock you will be like a person building a house on top of a rock not not the foolish one that built on top of sand 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 when the wind the coming blows is the house away please i'm asking you that we may be able to join together and do this program don't miss any of our it can be like two episodes in a week it can be once in a week i will bring you the information how it goes once the flyer is out i will distribute and then you will see our time and date and just make up time i don't care really how many programs you have this is time for us to focus in studying to get to know jesus christ studying to show ourselves approved because this is the moment the enemy is capitalizing on ignorance enemy is capitalizing and holding to people not knowing and he's destroying so many life you know the bible says my people perish for lack of knowledge because we don't know that's why the enemy is seizing the opportunity to destroy so many lives we cannot walk in unknowing anymore we need to get to know and get things get things in our palm we want to be in charge of things and how do you get in charge you cannot hold on to what you don't understand it's only what you understand that you own if you don't see the future, you can't own the future. So we need to wake up. We need to wake up and tell devil enough of the insult from you. Enough of you blinded my children, my people, my husband, my wife, my mother, my father. We are taking hold of our life. We are in charge now. You are no longer. Yes. Thank you so much. Somebody say, please come back. May I know who that person is? Hygiene Sude, God bless you so much, Haji. Um... Uh, yeah, Nancy said, please come back, sir. Yes, I'm back on social media. Yes, we will. I promise you we do everything. Even if it's only 10, 20 people we have there, you know, where you preach authentic gospel, remember, you don't see crowd there. So don't be, don't feel like, oh, we don't have enough people. Trust me. Bible say when two or three gathered. So when we're two or three, we can be able to start digging it out. Even if it's only three or four of us that make heaven at last, it's better than all of us going to hell. Let's just do this. And I know with you, we will get multitude. With you inviting your friends, I inviting my friends, everyone inviting their friends, we will get the crowd we need and we will disciple them. We dig into the matters in society. We will bring the biblical principle of the solutions. We will find a way to resolve issues that are happening in homes. And this is time. There's no other time. And if we cannot do it now, and even encourage every one of you that want to go into politics so that you will carry the integrity into the politics. You will carry godly principle because you are a priest and a king. Go there with your priestly authority while you are, have a kingly authority. These things need to be taught if we don't teach our people they will know politics are not for the devil no it's for the children of god we are the kings who are supposed to have their power we have supposed to possess the land you see whatever the source of our feet touches we will possess so please henry cheek everybody you guys emmanuel and joko i am pleading to everybody get ready again we're gonna go back to our zoom classes we're gonna go back to, our, to the principle that we have been teaching uh, henry cheek was one of my students before and you can ask him how powerful he was i don't know how too much busy made me to deviate from that class but we're going to go back to that class again and we start discussing jesus christ we start discussing social devices we start talking about the things that are happening on the earth today look at america just clear just made it now open that you can marry your sister biological brother and sister can get married so how bad should we go before we know that things have gone really bad how bad how far do we need to go south africa there's nothing like uh, adultery anymore you can be married and you can still be dating your working colleague 
after the work you go and sleep with her then go back to your husband and still sleep with your husband it's okay ha ah, god who has bewitched you oh foolish galatians can you see how painful it is even hearing that imagine how i love my wife just imagine how you love your husband how you love your wife and when she finish walking and go somewhere sleep with somebody come back he said uh, honey where did you go to uh, i just went to have a, a short time with my ex my boyfriend uh, so honey what do you want to eat tonight can i make your food and everything will be normal are you hearing that do you see how it sounds my god It sounds miserable. It's so terrible. I don't even want to imagine it. Imagine you having a woman, having a man in your life. You have your husband as a wife and your husband called you. Say, honey, I won't be coming tonight. I'm going to stay with uh, uh, Neka or, or, or Liz, Lisbeth. I'm going to spend tonight night with Lisbeth. Then I'll come back for you. Next night, I will spend with you. My God, can you... Oh, I got goose pimple all over my body. Can you imagine how that feels? That's exactly what South Africa have accepted. And Germany, they are also in it. And America is now like, you can go ahead and marry your sister. All these things are what the, what the enemy is devising. And we are not ignorant of their devices. But the problem is, what are we doing to resolve it? What are we doing to, to, to counter this madness? How do we help our children not to fall into that madness? How do we explain? explain to our kids that this is wrong with a physical evidence that it is wrong can't we just start working on it now let's discuss sometime our topic will be about family sometime our topic our topic will be about husband and wife it could be about raising children godly children you know i'll tell you something that got me really pissed off oh god should i say this Yes, if you have said A, you will say B. Even if God doesn't want me to say it, I've already given you impression that something I want to say, so I have to say it. It was a few days ago, my last daughter, was just only 13 years old, she sent me a picture of her last birthday, her last birthday and she said to me, um, Dad, oh, I forgot to send you my birthday picture after some weeks. The birthday, uh, Callistus, God bless you so much, as we can. Yeah, I, I mean, after some weeks, some weeks, the birthday have gone. You know what? My daughter knew that if she sent me that picture, I will discover something that she ought not to do. They are living in London and I'm here. Yes, I won't blame them for going wrong because I'm not there. But I supposed to know that my father will deal with my problem that I left behind and follow him. And my father is dealing with it. But the one that you discover as a, as a servant, yeah? If you discover, you fight it out. Don't keep quiet. See, mothers are doing well raising children, but they cannot raise children alone. Fathers are doing well, raising children. They cannot raise children alone. It's supposed to be two. It takes two to tango. But if it happens to be a broken home, there's no much you will do about that because you need to be alive to take care of your children. You don't want to be in a violent society, in a violent uh, uh, relationship. And one day the man killed the woman or the woman killed the man. Then who will take care of the children? So and the other, because the other one will definitely be in jail. So how do you then take care of the children? It's better you separate if that's the only if that's the only solution now in my own case of that separation i'm not saying that my ex-wife or the mother of my children is not doing a good job but i was so shocked when my daughter sent me a picture and i saw this jezebelian eyelashes you know this demon eyelash on my 13 years old daughter i was what oh god knows that if i'm in london and she go out and put that and come back i don't need to put chemical ready this i will pull it like this i will hold them and pull it like this and she will feel the pain she will feel the pain and she will never try it again but you know what i say to her chia maka i send her a message chia maka is that eyelashes i'm seeing on your eyes or something and she was without remorse say yeah dad yeah yeah jesus christ that's when i called 
And I say, you go to anywhere you see saloon now, Rush, if I would have been around, I would pull them out with my own fingers and you will be very painful. Your eyes will be so red. I would have hurt you seriously. If I would have been around, I would pull them out by myself. I say, Chiamaka, you are only 13 years old. Remove those things now, then I will tell you the reason why I want you to remove it. He said, okay, dad. I said, just find a way now, remove it, and then let me know that you have done that. And she called me back after a while, like an hour or so, so that they, they are removed. I said, okay, can I see your face? And I saw it. I said, okay, fine. Now, do you know why I want you to remove it? Now you start talking. You take action, and then you explain why you take the action. You don't take action, and then you back off, and you, see, you think that you're a man. No, no, no. You are messed up the girl. So you say, you say, mom, my baby girl, do you know why I want you to remove it? You look like a little demon in it. You you are very beautiful without that thing god created you perfect you are my daughter did you see any fail any wrong thing in me do you see any attachment in me i am so beautifully made god has created me handsome and none of my seven children is ugly and you are very pretty you are prettier than any girl that is existing on this earth so you don't need all those attachment when you put that attachment you become like a demon you don't even look like chiamaka that i know anymore you don't look like my daughter anymore and say so, oh yeah dad now i understand say mama do you know how pretty you are yeah i say yeah that's how you are you are very beautiful and i'm so proud of how you look jesus christ is so happy the way he creates you you are such a wonderful girl you are so beautiful i've never you know i've never seen any pretty girl like you whether they are truth or not you have passed the point you have made the point and this girl has carried her confidence up again. Her ego has come back. But if you say, remove it, remove it, remove it. After removing, you won't tell her why you remove it. Then that's an error. So after she has obeyed me to remove those things, and I tabled reason why I want her to remove it. And now she has a strong confidence. She won't go and take a picture next time and send to me with eyelashes on it. You won't do that anymore. She has understood exactly what I'm saying. I know that you and I can be able to train our children right. I know that we are not going to allow the society in the United Kingdom to train our children for us. We're not going to allow American government to take care of our children for us. We have to do the best that we can do. Oh my God, it makes me want to cry. It makes me want to cry because our children are going wrong and their parents think that it's all okay. And when you want to talk, they say, oh, I don't want social behind me. I don't want social behind me. Oh, what about Jesus being behind you? Would you like Joe Biden to be behind you? Or do you want Jesus Christ to be behind you? If Jesus Christ is behind you, he will throw you in hellfire. But if Joe Biden is behind you, he will put you in jail for six months or one year or two years. What do you want? To go to jail six months, one year, or go to eternal damnation? I don't want Jesus Christ to be behind me. I want Buhari to be behind me. I want Bu uh, Downing Street. Uh, uh, Prime Minister of Britain to be behind me. I want Joe Biden to be behind me, not Jesus Christ to be behind me. Because if Jesus Christ gets upset with you and get pissed off with you, he will throw you in hellfire. But if Joe Biden is angry with you, he will give you maybe five years in prison for spanking your child, or one month or six months in prison for spanking your child. That's okay. I will be ready to take my one, one year in prison, but I will keep on spanking that child until the child gets it right. How we can we can can't we just see the priority here and can't we see what matters most there is weightier matter here is to save the life of our children to give them destiny to give them future it's not about the punishment we will take from government we are ready for the punishment please my brothers and my sisters tell your child the truth and train them the way of the lord now while they win they are still very young because when they grow you'll be very difficult to bend them you don't bend adults adult when they finish growing you cannot bend them again if you want to bend them you start bending them while they were children so train your child in the way of the lord when he grow he will not depart says the lord i want you to please hold on to this principle that i'm talking about who will start discussing with your mothers in this very dispensation this new discipleship class i'm going to start we're going to discuss very with your matters and i'm i'm expecting you all to please be involved so many questions will be answered. My wife will be involved time to time also to discuss women matter, discuss marriage matters, and so on, children matters, and so on. She's a mother indeed, and a prayer warrior indeed. 
If you have a situation that is so difficult, we take it to God in prayer. When we hold our hands together and we bind that demon, he will be bound in heaven. Trust me. And that thing that is so tight in your family that wouldn't let you go, when we hold our hands together, we're losing that thing. And you, it will be losing in heaven. It is a basic principle of Christianity. Let us, let us hold on to salvation and let us hold on to the principle that of God that we know. With this, we can shake the mountain. We can shake the earth. Let God be with you. May the wisdom of God be upon you. May your eyes of understanding be enlightened. May the hope come upon you again where there's hopeless. Ah, in that hopelessness situation, I want, the, I want you to receive light. Let light come upon that darkness. In that tunnel, let there be divine speed. You will come out of that tunnel in a divine speed and you will see light again. May the glory of God rest upon your finances, rest upon your marriage, your children, your family. May you never walk in darkness. May uprightness be made around you. May you hear the voice of the Lord morning, day and night say, my son, my servant, I am with you. Fear not. I will uphold you and I will sustain you. May the voice that spoke with Isaiah, that spoke with Jacob, that spoke with David, may that voice be your voice. May you hear that voice constantly in the name of Jesus. I pray that you will have a wonderful weekend and I pray that your tomorrow service will be so awesome. May you walk in divine principle. Thank you Jesus Christ for answered prayer. Thank you for the testimony of the old papa that brought this message this moment. Thank you for releasing that old man after 10 years of bondage, 10 years in pain. Thank you for releasing him from that pain, my God. I appreciate you, Heavenly Father. I honor you. I return all the glory to you. Without you, nothing can be possible. Without you, nothing that is achieved that is achieved. Nothing was created that was created without you. Your word is A and Amen. My God, we hold on to your blessings oh yeah yeah send the ama kashana ha vasuni keteni abadu senia haya kianda badaru shanaka Lord, I thank you because I know you are doing even wonders as I'm praying. I see so many people here receiving their testimony. They say, woman with tumor, with breast tumor. You see, the thing is disappearing. Touch your breast. You see that it's gone. And as I'm praying now, somebody is wondering, when am I going to receive answer to the home from the home office? Oh, when am I going to receive my resident permit? You are not only receiving your resident permit. Before three years, you are receiving your American passport. You are receiving your British passport. Something is going to change in the country in that Italy where you are, in the Germany where you are, that stubborn Goliath sitting on your casework, sitting on your paper, saying that you are not, he's not going to let you go. And even if he's going to let you go, you're not going to go far. I'm telling you that's a new announcement. That is a new decree passed from heaven. Lord, say, I'm going to let you go and you're going to enter your Canaan land without hesitation in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, the principality of the whole world, Jesus Christ. You are the ultimate principality. You seated above all principalities and powers my God. You have given us the key to go and overrule and overcome everything. And Lord said that he's overturning every situation in your home. That COVID structure that COVID structure that was meant to destroy the world. He has stopped it. He has quenched it. They are cast into the river. They are buried there. They are submerged in that river. They will not come out again. Rivers. Red Sea has swallowed them. Red Sea has swallowed those your Egyptians and you will see them no more in the name of Jesus. Every affliction, every affliction that is disturbing your life is coming to an end. This weekend, you will have a testimony. By the time you enter new week, you will testify to the whole world. And everybody will see that God is good and in his name alone we are being. In him we have our being. In him we are sustained. Thank you, Abba Father. In Jesus, awesome name we have prayed. Please, if you haven't shared the video, Go ahead and share it before you leave the platform, please, yeah? Subscribe to our channels. Go to our YouTube because sometimes we do our live videos on YouTube. Go to our YouTube at Prisoner Voice. Just go to Prisoner Voice or Abounding Grace Foundation. Subscribe our YouTube so you can be getting our videos as well, okay? God bless you all. I so much appreciate you. And I hope the audio, this is audible. I hope the sound is okay. And I want you to have a very wonderful evening. I was thinking that uh, I could be able to see the questions here, but um, I couldn't get the questions here. If there's any question at all, please feel free to send us the question, okay? And uh, 
we will definitely re respond. We will definitely get back to you. May God bless you, yeah? God bless you so much. And see you very soon on our platform. Put your eyes on our Bounding Grace Foundation page, Facebook page. We use it sometime for our live program. If you have not subscribed to our channels, please do so. If you have not liked our page and follow our page and click on the button of notification, please do so. In so doing, whenever we are live, it will prompt you. It will tell you. It will just pop up on your page and you will join. I don't want you to miss this season of discipleship. Please don't miss it at all is so paramount it's so important that in fact it's it's perturbing that people are not even knowing the season we are in we are on a revival season don't worry about the thing that you are seeing around you that looks like they are not looking good things that are looking good around you are much more in number the Bible said that the one who is with us is far, far in number than the people that are with them in the world. So don't be afraid. Do not hesitate and continue to confess the word. Confess positive, positive utterances. It's what makes you a servant. It's what makes you a child of God. It's what makes you redeemed of the Lord. Your confession your confession let your mouth not say evil against you or your children or your family let your mouth speak destiny speak life and things will begin to change i don't want to go but i have to let you go may god bless you as you share this video please i'm waiting to see that you share the video share it jane god bless you every one of you that are here oh, i wish i could see everybody first here I wish I could see everybody I would have man. I'm trying to I can't, I can't scroll down it's just I'm just opening it up I don't know why I just got stuck in one place I can scroll here but I can't see the screen here properly yeah may God bless you please yeah share the video and then uh, send us any requests if there's any prayer requests that you have feel free to send to us okay and we will be praying along with you may you have a very wonderful weekend God bless you child and when we are coming live please don't forget to join us live don't forget to join us live with the old man uh, the old man that released from prison is gonna join us i'm gonna bring him to lagos maybe before one week or in a weekend i will get him here so he will talk to everybody and tell you his ordeal and we see how we can establish him back to life here yeah? god bless you ciao bella